Hello guys, it's me, a home underscore killer 72 and welcome back to another building tutorial. So in today's tutorial, we're going to actually be building this lovely country house. So let's get straight into the video. So to start off, we're going to have to have um, a bunch of space. So it's not a big of a house, it's just a middle sized house. So we're going to need 27 blocks by 16 blocks space, which should do the trick. So the materials that you're gonna need are going to be dark oak wood uh, slabs and of course stone bricks, glowstone, oak wood, and oak planks, dark oak wood slabs, stone uh, slabs, general leaves, and of course glass panes, which should be the basic um, blocks. So to start off, all you have to do is go to the bottom right corner once you've marked out the area, which is going to be again um, 27 by 16 blocks if you didn't get it at first. So once you've marked out the area, pause the video until you do. And once you've done that, just go ahead and place um, the dark oak wood slabs on the right uh, hand bottom section. And then you can just add in seven blocks in total from right to left. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Once you've done that, just leave a two block gap and continue on placing blocks after the two block gap until the end of the marked area. Once you've done that, you can go back to the marked um, section, the two block gap section, and you can add one more block on each side. Once you've done that, just go ahead and add two, uh, actually three sl uh, stone slabs, just like so. You should have done that. Yeah, once you've done that, just add three blocks, like so, and three more stone slabs right there. Once you've done that, all you have to do is actually just um, continue on placing dark oak wood slabs. All across the whole um, rectangle area square area you can say that anything is just a shape and uh, you can just add it in so once you've done that it should look something like this so once you've done that all you have to do is actually add stone slabs all along the whole build just like so I just give you an example and you can do that all across the whole build and once you've done that it should look something like this and then all you have to do is get yourself the glue stone and just place them in the corners of the whole um, stone slabs lines and once you've done that go ahead and get yourself the dark uh, jungle leaves and place them on these three blocks by leaving only one gap in the middle just like this once you've done that, all you have to do is actually get yourself a fence gate of any kind. For me, I'm using the oak fence gates um, because they're um, much better looking than the others in this build. So this build wasn't actually designed by me, it was designed by my friend or you can also know him as Sue Hype and yeah, it was designed by him but it was also decorated by me. So that doesn't matter as long as it's a beautiful build in my opinion. <laughs> so let's get straight into the main build. So to start off the main build, you can go back to this section and actually place two along uh, two oak planks along the jungle leaves. And also before you do that, you can also get yourself stone slabs and add them to the corners of uh, this row section. And once you've done that, all you have to do is actually add in jungle leaves all along the whole stone slabs that are left. Which should end you up with something like this. Once you've done that, we can also go back to the main build by getting ourselves oak woods and placing them um, uh, to the right side. One to the right side and one to the left side of the oak planks. And once you've done that, also you can go ahead and actually play, uh, break, uh, make a two by three um, hole in the ground and place it in with uh, stone bricks. 
once you've done that you can go back to the beginning of the build and just do a two by one door frame which is going to be three blocks in total here two blocks in the middle three blocks again high once you've done that you can go back to the right side of the build and just add in four oak planks and add one more oak wood four more oak planks one more oak wood which should end you up with something like this once you've done that just make a frame for a 2x2 two two window right on this side of the build <coughs> once you've done that you should end up with something looking like this and also you can do another window at this section of the house So at the this section of the house, you can also get yourself an a crafting table and a furnace, and you can place these in on these blocks just to make the whole build uh, much more nicer and also more compact. Once you've done that, all you have to do is actually um, extend the corners to make them eight blocks high. Into those, you can add uh, seven more blocks. So one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. This should uh, be eight blocks high in total. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you should extend all the sides to make them eight blocks high in total. Oops. And yeah. It should be eight blocks high in total as I said before and once you've done that all you have to do is actually extend this side uh, with one more row just to make it four blocks high in total just like all the other sides once you've done that you can also extend this up to make it one more uh, block so you can add one more row of blocks on top of the oak planks on each side once you've done that, all you have to do is actually get yourself the dark oak wood uh, slabs and of course you're gonna need some dark oak planks. By using the dark oak planks, you can add them to the corners of these blocks. So just add them at the fifth block on each corner, just like so. Except on this side, you can add them only once there and also once there once you've done that all you have to do is actually connect these blocks together using dark oak uh, wood stairs on the front side but on the back side also can do that except on the right hand side you can just connect them up up uh, with uh, dark oak wood slabs and once you've done that, all you have to do is actually get yourself oak fence and place three on either, um, actually two on top of each um, dark oak wood plank. So two more right here. Once you've done that, all you have to do is actually get um, more, wait, actually, um, let's check that. Yeah, it's right. Uh, you can just place dark oak slabs on top of the fence just like so once you've done that all you have to do is actually leave a three uh, two block gap and just add one more row of oak planks on either sides Once you've done that, all you have to do is add in the window, which is going to be a combination of iron bars and glass panes for me. If you want, you can use glass blocks or any kind of transparent block that you would like to use. Except, in my opinion, this looks much better. So, you should add them to both um, these sides and also this side too just like so once you've done that all you have to do is actually go back to the beginning of the house which is the main door and add in upside down stairs just like so 
and except on the right side you can also add wood slabs which are going to be on the top side of the blocks and at the back side you can add more um, upside down blocks wood stairs once you've done that you can go back to this side and actually add in one more um, dark oak wood slab for both sides only at the top section once you've done that just add in this whole um, row of oak planks and then you can add in a whole a row of um, oak, dark oak wood stairs and once you've done that you can take yourself uh, put on with dark oak wood stairs and just add in the roof which is gonna be just like so so one row of dark oak wood stairs just like um, at this section of the house and then you can add them on the other side and then you can add in upside down uh, dark oak wood stairs except this time you won't be adding upside down uh, wood stairs on um, this section which is going to be oak planks so you shouldn't add any upside down dark uh, oak wood stairs on top of these section which are going to be uh, oak once you've done that, just add in uh, upright ones, and it's okay if they cover up the um, the actual sections of the oak planks. It doesn't matter that much. Once you've done that, all you have to do is actually get your fence and place them on top of the oak fence. You can use any kind of fence you want to. Then you can add two more on top of uh, the um, of this four block row. Two more like so, and then you can also get yourself the spruce planks and add them all around the whole uh, roof. So this room won't be accessible to anyone in the house, not even the owner, because it's too small. For um, us to use, it's just a decorative room, and then you can add in more um, rows of dark oak wood stairs, which are gonna be upside down at these sides, and then you can add uh, the final rows, which should meet in the middle, just like so. As you can see, we're almost done with this section of the house. You can then get yourself birch wood slabs. I prefer them. You can use any kind of slabs you want, but I'm gonna use these and add them on top of the spruce planks, which should give a more colorful uh, look to the house. Once you've done that, you can then start up to the main section of the house, which is gonna be the bedroom. So for their bedroom, you're just going to add some oak planks on either side. So to start off at this left hand side, you can just add in 7 blocks from right to left. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then you can add one more oak uh, wood. And then for um, oak planks, one more oak wood. And 7 from right to left oak planks. Once you've done that, all you have to do is actually extend the oak wood um, to make it four blocks high on both sides. Once you've done that, all you have to do is go to the front section of the house and make uh, a three by two window, which is going to be right in the middle. So to do that, all you have to do is actually add in two more blocks on the right side and two more blocks on the left side and take, uh, take them one more block high and add in a full on row of oak planks which will leave you with this um, space you can add in your glass panes or any kind of transparent block that you prefer so before we go to that side of the house we can go ahead and actually start decorating the house a little bit from the outside 
So to start off, you're gonna need uh, dark oak wood slabs, and of course, dark oak wood stairs, flower pots, and any kind of flower that you prefer. So to start off, just go add the jungle leaves corners and add in one more um, dark oak wood stair uh, slab. Sorry, at the right hand side. And then you can also add two more wood slabs. And then you can add just four more uh, oak stairs. One more um, dark oak wood slab. And then two more. Once you've done that, you can add four more oak wood stairs. One more dark wood slab. And then you can add a full on row except at the corner of uh, dark oak wood stairs and then you can add one more slab two more slabs on the left side of the house and then four more um on the left side of course of wood stairs and then one more dark oak wood slab two more in the front side of the house and actually you should end up with something like this and then you can go back to this side of the house and actually place one more at the front side of the house and then you can add in your stairs so the stairs are gonna be in front of the window only then you can add slabs on the right and left sides and then you can add stairs on right and left side again which should uh, give you something looking like this so you're not done yet with this decoration you should add um, glowstone beneath all the slabs which is gonna give you a bit more lighting um, it's not that much uh, easy to see the glowstone so it's uh, almost like a hidden lighting uh, which looks really cool outside the house at the night time so let's test out uh, that out so as you can see I just made it night time and it should look something cool just like this so it gives you a bit of a mood lighting and it looks really nice it's not uh, that much you know dark and it's not that much uh, too much bright so it's a cool addition to the house let's set it back to the day and I guess we should end the video at this side of the house because it takes a lot of time and in the next video we're actually going to be doing the interior of the house and the rest of this wall so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and also don't forget to leave a big fat thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done that yet and yeah don't forget to tell your friends about the channel if you do like it and good bye